Uh, so this is a tutorial that's going to show us how to actually add to our mobile application iOS and Android the capability of connecting using Cognito users, Amazon Cognito users and uh, we don't want to code any screen inside the application so we're only going to use a hosted UI. So first of all we're going to go to AWS console and then once we log into AWS console we are going to go straight to Cognito we're going to go to manage user pool uh, make sure that we are in the correct region in my case I'm in Canada so I'm using Canada uh, Central 1 so first create a user pool we're going to call it my app users it's my app users gonna review default not gonna change anything create user pool and then after that we're gonna go to app client setting and from app client settings we're gonna go to summary and we're going to add an app client app an app client and the app client name will be my app client and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to uncheck the generate client secret because I'm only going to have one app client and then create app client so I can see right away that I have my client ID that I'm going to need after that uh, when I'm going to create the uh, applications uh, the mobile application I will need to specify which client ID I'm actually using and the other thing I'm going to need it's a domain name so I'm going for now using the domain name from Amazon Cognito so I'm going to call it Mo mobile mobi as in mobile and uh, save change it went fine so the other thing that I need to do, I need to say that uh, this client, my app client, is using Cognito user pools. I also need to specify which callback that I'm going to be using inside the client's app. In this case, it's going to be, for example, my app client. This is my app actually, so you know that it has nothing to do with the actual name of the client. So my app and callback. So this is the callback, at least they're going to be used from the mobiles. And same thing here, it can be something else, but I want to use the same my app, but at this time I want to call sign out. Just to make sure that I don't keep this space right here. And allowed our flows I'm going to check authorization code grant email open ID connect and profile probably the most important is the open ID connect open ID sorry we are going to save change so now that I, I am done I can actually test it by using this hosted UI let's just click right here so it's fine it's working I can log in I can click on uh, forgotten password and sign up but the only thing that I want to add for the sake of the tutorial I want to actually show my logo right here so let me go back here and this is done UI customization yes okay so this is done, <laughs> this is done in the uh, UI customization. You just choose a file, and the file that I'm going to use for my logo is this one. And uh, save change. So let's uh, give it a go. Launch hosted UI. Nice. So I have my logo, and I still have my form to log in right here. So after that, you have to follow the next tutorial when I'm going to show how to connect using iOS and then Android.
first thing we're gonna do we're going to go to Xcode and we're going to create a new project let's just uh, use the first uh, template and we're gonna, going to call this iOS app this is the iOS app client and we're going to save it right here okay so right now I have basically a blank uh, app first thing I'm going to do is just that I'm going to add uh, a pod file so I'm going to add a pod file where I'm going to be able to put my uh, dependencies so there is an empty file here and let's call this we have to call this pod file you save it here let's go ahead and actually put our dependencies in this pod file so this is all you need so uh, you need to go into the folder where you have your project in here ls so here's my pod file as you can see so i just need to type pod install assuming you already have the pod installed in your computer by the way and i mean the pods i'm talking about the coco pods so now i have my dependency installed so what i need to do after that is to reopen the project so right now <coughs> i actually open the project but i want to open the workspace actually i'm going to close the project first and then I'm going to open the workspace. So here it is the workspace. Notice right now that I have this project right here, and I have also this project, the Cocoa Pods, which is part of the workspace. This file actually doesn't need to be here because it is the same as here, so I can just delete the reference. This is very important for of this file on the top as I don't need it. So now we need to go to the app delegate and inside the app delegate we are going to configure slash initialize the amplify SDK. So to do this I'm going to paste this code first of all the amplify SDK will be configured like this and we also need to import the amplify SDK and import the amplify plugin. So at this point, my project should be able to build. Uh, we are going to go to the main storyboard, and in the main storyboard, we are going to create a control that is going to allow us, allow us to connect, to sign in, to sign out, and also. Uh, be able to tell if you are sign in or sign out. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add a control. The control is going to be a button, and the button will be on the. It can be in the middle, really. I'm going to put it on the top. I think it's nicer. That's usually where you find the login logout buttons. So it's going to be on the top right. And by default, we are going to write a uh, login. Okay, and we will need to connect this to the corresponding view controller. So I'm going to control drag. Here is going to be a login button. As an outlet, and also I'm going to add control drag. This time it's going to be an action. It's going to be touched, touched uh, login, for example. Okay. All right. So. After that, uh, what we want to do is that when we actually 
launch the application we want to be able to check if the application is already sign in or sign out so in order to do this paste this function right here so this function actually will just allow us to initialize uh, the AWS mobile SDK which is part of the Amplify SDK I need to import first uh, the Amplify SDK should do and if it doesn't I'm going to import the specifically the AWS mobile client alright so also I'm going to close this windows but I, because I don't think I'm going to need it anymore and so right now once the application start we're going to call application view did load and then because we call view did load we're going to actually initialize the mobile SDK client we also need to define this so to do that I'm just going to paste this code right here so basically this is a code that actually check if I'm signing and if I am signing, actually the username of the sign-in user, and if I'm not, it will show the login string. I also need to define this one. Let's paste this code right here. Basically, uh, this is a closure that's going to be called, and basically this is a short version of this one. So the other function that we will need to define is sign in and sign out. So let's start with sign out. So sign out is basically uh, amplify putting the sign out and then on completion you're just going to uh, refresh whatever is inside the button that we have defined right here. For as a, for the login, we're just gonna paste this code. So this one is pretty much the same thing. So we are going to call sign in with web UI. Don't forget we are we are trying to log in using a hosted UI. And then at the end again we are going to refresh the button depending on what it is that the new statue that we have. Alright so then again what i'm going to do is in this case if the user actually touch the login button i want to see if the user is signing in then i think this is a function call like this if it is signing then we are going to show logout otherwise we are going to show sign in so with that said I think we should be correct for this file now we need to add obviously the configuration of the specific connector that we are trying to connect to so for this I need to define to add two files I will need to add uh, the amplify uh, configuration JSON and I also need to add, to add the AWS config JSON. So, right, let's start with the first file, which going which is going to be the I'm going to use like an empty file to start with, and this is going to be called amplify configuration JSON. All right, and then this JSON right here. All right, so what I want to do is to take this. So this is actually inside my uh, console of AWS Amazon, and we are in the user pool, and this is the user pool that I'm trying to use. If you come to the user pool, you're going to see the user pool ID. So the user pool ID is actually defined in this place right here and now the application client is the one that we have defined which is this one and you can see uh, the client ID is this one that is going to be selected right here and uh, the other thing that is actually important is the callback so the callback 
I think it is defined it's defined settings right here okay so here we go so it's defined right here so this is a callback once I'm connected or whatever I do that's going to call back the application it's going to call this one the only one that is different is for the sign out and this is this one is right here so if I come here you will see that there are defined one here and one here uh, the web domain has also been defined before so all of this has been done in the previous tutorial where we, are, we were actually created this one so I urge you if you want to see how we do this just go back and see the first part of this tutorial but for now what I'm going to do I'm just going to duplicate this file and this one is going to be AWS configuration that JSON very, very important that the name is actually correct exactly the same content okay so the other thing that we also need to do is to go inside the info playlist and we want to add the schema like this so if I actually unfold this code, the only thing that is actually important in this case is the my app, the first part of the callback that is defined right here. All right, so let's uh, run and build and see how it goes. Okay, here it is. So basically, show me the login because I'm not login, which is expected. So I'm going to click here to try to log in right away. All right, so you have this warning that said that you are trying to log into the amazoncognito.com, which basically represent this web domain that is right here. And you say yes, continue. It's going to open the web view. And inside the web view, we should see the hosted UI, exactly what I was expecting. Important, I'm going to sign up. So, my user is going to be, for example, Muhaye1, because I know Muhaye has been used already. Muhaye, for an exclamation mark, done. Sign up. Okay, so I did receive my verification code, and 37, confirm account okay so you can see that i'm logged in with my username that i just created so if i want to sign out i just click again and now we have the sign out button yeah so i got sign out so now i know that uh, my application worked so i'm going to leave uh, the link to the source code of uh, this tutorial to the description area